ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜ್ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದು ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾಯಿತು ಶ್ರೀ ಪೂಯಿ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪಣುತುಪಾಲ್ಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವರಖಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತುಕಿಮಿಗಬೂಸ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸ್ವಸಾಗ್ರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತವರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರವಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರವಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುಥಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ರ 
गुरु सुश्रोषनम नाम सर्वधर्म तमोत्तम तस्मा धर्मा परो धर्म पवित्र धर्म न विध्वि गुरु सुश्रोषनम नाम सर्वधर्म तमोत्तम तस्मा धर्मा परो धर्म पवित्र धर्म न विध्वे गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमस जगदगुरु टोल That nothing auspicious, more auspicious than Guru Shiva. Gauriya Goshti Bhoti, Sri Sri La Bhakti Shri Dhanta, Saraswati Goswami Jagat Bhopal, Paramahansa Jagat Jagat Guru told that nothing more auspicious than Guru Shiva. Bonded soul can get free of material clothsure. Bonded soul can get free of material sansar if they can do perfect guru vishnu seva by guru vishnu seva bonded soul can get free of material sansar now question is that who is going doing guru seva and who is not doing guru seva many question there coming to me how we can know that one devotee during doing perfect guru seva and how we can understand somebody in the guise of vaishnav not doing guru seva but enjoying big huge name and fame externally how to realize it that is the main question many question coming who is doing actual guru seva sila bhakti siddhant saraswati krishna tagur prabhupada speaking if you can see all the qualities of guru pad padma is translated into the heart of guru pad a disciple if you can find All achar, adarsho, siddhanto vichar, all everything in total. If you can find the acharan of Guru Path Padma, siddhanto vichar, adarsho, everything of Guru Path Padma, if you can find inside a disciple, then be sure he is enjoying full kipa. External name, fame, position. is not so important factor padma pad padma pad he was the disciple disciple of shankara acharya externally there was no name fame of padma pad hello so this way popa speaking if you can find all achar adarsho acharan etiquette everything or siddhanta vichar if you can find inside a disciple guru pad padma is all acharya inside the heart of one disciple then be sure whole world going to whole world whole world going to you know agree that he is big acharya whole world going to uh, vote him or not going to vote is not a big factor krishna bhakti krishna gun sakali sanchari perhaps you heard krishna bhakti in chaitanya charitamrita krishna bhakti krishna gun sakali sanchari all the qualities of krishna you can find in a devotee of krishna all the qualities of krishna you can find inside a disciple inside one devotee of krishna but not that 100% all don't understand what i mean to say what i mean to say try to understand all the qualities of krishna can come inside the heart of one devotee all the qualities 
except some special qualities reserved, except some special qualities only reserved for Krishna, the Supreme Lord. Like the creation, power, this, that, rasa, lila, oh, so many things. That cannot come. All the qualities of Krishna can come. All the qualities of Krishna, but some special quality only reserved for Krishna. That can you cannot come. Only this or other qualities can come. But that also, not that in that Krishna, each and every quality of Krishna is absolute. Each and every quality of Krishna is absolute. Follow. Bonded soul somehow can get something, but not all. But if you think Guru Padma is a bonded soul, then it's a great, great offense. Guru Padma is not bonded soul. Guru Padma is the Prakash of Bhagavan. Guru Padma, if you think, okay, Guru Padma is a like bonded soul, maybe educated, uh, having some knowledge of Bhaya, not that. Don't make any mistake about this. So, Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Gun, Shakuli Sanchare, like the devotee of Krishna can get all the qualities of Krishna, except some special qualities reserved for Krishna, that all, everything. Similarly, Guru Bhakti, Guru Gun, Shakali Sanchari. Who is the devotee of Guru? I mean, devotee means serving Guru. Devotee means serving Guru. Devotion means serving. So, Guru Bhakta, who is serving Guru Padma, all the qualities of Guru Padma can go. It's a must. It's an automatic factor. If you try to serve one pros from today, I, 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 you can write agreement. If you can serve, day by day you can grow some bad mentality. Even with prasadam I can show you. You go here and there, take prasadam, and you take, you take prasadam in the hand of a pure devotee. Practically I can show you. Follow. That's why Bhakti Mahatma writing so many things. But nobody likes to pay attention. Even those who are making Madhukuri Viksha, for them, Bhakti Mahatma speaking, they should not take any Madhukuri Viksha from such a house where they are devoid of any acharan. They are totally contaminated, taking all fish, meat, all contaminated. No acharan. Bhakti Mahatma speaking, even one sadhu like to make madhukuri, be careful, you should do madhukuri from some pure house. Otherwise, big problem will be there. You cannot do bhajan. Because if your mind is contaminated, then how you can do bhajan? Why you sometimes feel very bad? Why you sometimes feel very angry? Why? Because mind is contaminated. When your mind is contaminated, then you cannot feel power in bhajan. You cannot feel power to hear harikatha. Your hearing harikatha will be an optional object. I can hear harikatha or I cannot hear harikatha. That's up to me. Optional, optional subject. This is not the mentality of a genuine devotee. Because for genuine devotee, Harikatha is the means of bhajan at the same time sadhya and sadhana, both. Anyway, so, main point is that many devotees asking to Prabhupada, many devotees, I mean the disciple of Prabhupada, asking to Prabhupada, everybody doing seva according to their capacity or they are doing you seva. But who is number one, who is number one, we need to know. Who has done your seva and you think he is number one, how? 
Prabhupada is very clever. If Prabhupada is going to speak directly, then it is not good. Follow. So Prabhupada giving answer, very scientific answer. Prabhupada speaking, well, he who is growing, he who is growing 100% love, who, he who is growing 100% love for Guru Vaishnava, he is number one, 100% love. That is called in Bhagavatam, Bhaktaika Esham Gurudeva Tatma. You heard, na? Bhaktaika Esham Gurudeva Tatma. Evam Guru Pasanika Bhaktya Vidya Kutare Na Site Na Dhira Vibrisya Jeeva Sayamayam Pramatva Sangvishya Atmana Matho Tajyasna. It is also a nice book. Many times before I explained. So, Bhaktoi ko Esham Gurudeva Tatma. Bhaktoi ko Esham Gurudeva Tatma means disciple and Gurudev totally harmonized. Gurudev is heart and soul. Gurudev is heart and soul for a genuine disciple. A genuine disciple is always ready to sacrifice his life and soul everything for Guru Padma. But at present, nobody interested to speak about the absolute truth. Why not? Why not, you know? Why not? Because Pope was speaking, until and unless, until and unless, you are 100% inclined and to lose the feet of Bhagavan. Until and unless you are 100% inclined unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan, you cannot get the power to speak about the absolute truth, absolute way, standing on absolute platform. Not possible. It's not possible for you. If you want to speak that absolute truth, you can feel fear. Oh, if I speak, this way, oh, whole world can go against me. I should not speak this way. Better I can speak a soft way, a little bit soft way, moderate way. But this is not the mood of, this is not the mood of Prabhupada. This is not Jivedaya. This is not actually Jivedaya. To speak absolute truth, absolute way, Standing on absolute platform is called Jivedaya. Because Pope was speaking, to search personal satisfaction, personal, you know, vote, I mean, name, fame, is not called Bhakti. If I want to search personal love, puja, patishtha, to seek personal satisfaction, I mean the satisfaction of public, to seek the satisfaction of public and to seek the satisfaction of Krishna, Absolute Bhagavan. It's not the same. It's not the same. And Baba speaking, to, to, to speak it loudly, to speak this loudly in front of publics is called Jivedaya. You cannot make any head and tell what Pope was speaking. Follow. If I like to seek my satisfaction, Baba, it is not bhakti. You like to get name, fame, everybody can support you. It's not bhakti. And to seek the satisfaction of Bhagavan, absolute Bhagavan, is called bhakti. And to speak this truth, and to speak this truth loudly in front of public, and to speak this absolute, it, and to speak this truth in front of public loudly, is called Jivedaya. To speak absolute truth in front of people is called Jivedaya. That the same thing, previous day I told you couldn't pay attention. Same thing previous day I told. Preaching means to share your direct feeling 
Preaching means to share your direct feeling of Guru Seva. Preaching means try to realize it's a practical. Preaching means to share your feeling of Bhagavad Seva, Guru Seva with all people. It's called Seva. How fine, accurate Siddhanta Vichar. How fine. Really, it is very difficult. That's why Prabhupada is speaking. Those who are 100% until and unless you are 100% inclined unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan, you cannot get the power to speak about that absolute truth. You cannot speak. Because absolute truth is not such an, such an, such an object on which you can put pressure. Absolute truth is not controlled by me. Absolute truth is self-manifested object. I cannot take preparation today. I can speak about that absolute truth today in front of public to get clapping. Not that. It's not possible. Absolute truth is self-manifesting object. So if I am situated on the absolute platform, then and only then absolute truth can come and appear on my tongue. Then it is possible for me. That is why Bhakti Muttakur many times wanted to say very many secret Siddhanta, nobody pay attention. Bhakti Muttakur many times in Kirtan told. Kit in Kirtan Bhakti Muttakur told. Bhakti Thakur told that Piyaya Prem Matto Kori More Suno Nijo Guno Gaan. Bangla, you understand Bangla? Kichu, Kichu, Kichu. Kichu is useless. You have to understand 100%. So, Kichu is useless. He <laughs> is dangerous. Partial realization is very dangerous. So, Bhakti Mata was speaking that you can sit inside my heart and you can speak Harikatha Kirtan. Piyaya Prem Matta Kori Mori. You can allow me to drink that nectarian eh, Harikatha and Kirtan. Bhakti Mata was speaking to Bhagavan. Bhagavan, you can allow me to drink all nectarian Harikatha. After that, when it is overflowing, then automatically come. Piyaya prem matto kori mane, I can be in, a, in like intoxication. Somebody taking drugs and these, they cannot put away. This is the condition of Bhagavad Bhakta. Though it is dirty, example, not dirty. In Bhagavadam it is written. It looks dirty. But what to do? You cannot understand no other example. So, is this example, Sukhde Goswami is speaking. Like one intoxicated eh, man, he cannot understand what is this. Like those who are drinking Bhagavad Amrita Katha, they are also intoxicated by prema. It is not dirty, it is very, very fine. It is very fine. Piyaya prem matto kori mare. Suno ni like Rai Mahasaya, Rai Ramananda speaking to Mahaprabhu, you are speaking inside me. You are the speaker, you are the audience. I mean, you are hearing also. You are speaking inside me, and at the same time, you are hearing in front of me. Both you are. If this kind of feeling coming inside you, then you are a genuine Acharya, you are genuine Pracharak. Main symptom of one Acharya. Main symptom of one Acharya, if you look at one pure Acharya, perfect. You can see as if some kind of induction. Avesh. Induction, Avesh. He is doing everything. 
but as if he is not looking anything outside. He is doing everything externally, like Prabhupada. Prabhupada externally editing, editing, everything, doing, talking with public, speaking, Harikata, everything, all the twenty. But inside, always doing seva of Radha Govinda. Agoran, how possible? Gorgisha Baba, if you talk with Gorgisha Baba, you see abnormal talkings. If you talk with one pure devotee, you can be abnormal. It's not normal talking. As if something. You can think it is abnormal, but it is normal. Your talking is abnormal. <laughs> Your talking is abnormal, but you think it is abnormal. Because you are habituated, no? It is normal. But what Guru Vaishnava is, is normal. Gorgis Baba, when speaking something, you can think, what speaking? It is not normal speaking, like mad. Jagannath Das Baba Ji Maharaj, Bhangshi Das Baba Ji Maharaj, I was speaking like a madman. Ah, looking at you. One coping, ah, with so many years, you can think mad. But you are actually mad. I am mad. Baba Ji Maharaj not mad. But you think our conception is totally wrong. Anyway, I can come to the main point who is Guru Sevak and who is not. To realize this point, we must we must put question in front of Prabhupada. Who is actually genuine Guru Seva? Because we have no knowledge about that. So Prabhupada speaking. Baba speaking, if you find all achar, adasa, acharan is totally coming inside the heart of one disciple, be sure it's okay. It's okay. And who is the uh, number one seva? How we know you are doing seva, he is doing seva, she is doing seva. Valuation of your seva. How we can know? Baba speaking, it completely depends upon how much love you have for Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. This is the yardstick scale. That is the only scale on the basis you can measure. Material scale you cannot use. Material scale, material judgment is useless. At present, who can judge? At present, who can judge who is? Try to understand what I say. At present, who can judge? Who is pure Acharya? Who is Vishnu? No society. All hotchpotch, Kishuri. You cannot understand. No scope, no way out. Nobody likes to speak. That's why no. But Prabhupada speaking, we cannot, we cannot, who is Vaishnav, who is not Vaishnav, who is Guru Sevak, who is not Guru Sevak. This kind of judgment, we cannot live in the hand of some crazy people. Who is Vaishnava, who is not Vaishnava, who is Guru Seva, who is not Guru Seva. This judgment, surely, we cannot live in the hands of, in the hands of some crazy people. Out of their money power, man power, oh, I am Acharya, Ravan. He can pass judgment. Who is he? Who can pass remark about his dirty condition? Nobody there. If somebody going, big problem will be there. Vishwabhishna Prabhupada was there at that time. So Jiva Goswami was the sole authority. Before Jiva Goswami Prabhupada, Sarva Goswami was there. After Sarva Goswami, Rupa Sanatan. After Rupa Sanatan gone, Eh? Loknath Goswami or our, our, you know, Jiva Goswami Pa. After Jiva Goswami Pa, so many Bhakti Mithra But now nobody there. All Khichuri. All external exhibition. Our bhajan is one external exhibition at present. Never mind, I am speaking the absolute truth. Our bhajan is one kind of exhibition now. If you can do more glamorous exhibition, then you are big sadhu than me. Follow? Because I am poor, I have no money. This is the judgment at present. No way out. 
Be careful, repeatedly I told before, and now telling repeatedly, hundreds of thousands of times speaking. Don't be fooled. Only you try to realize all the Siddhanta Vichara Prabhupada, the Prabhupada. Only, the only way. The day you can realize the Siddhanta Vichara of the Prabhupada, then I can put guarantee. I can give one certificate. Now no problem. But before that there is problem. If you make hodge for hodge, because there is so many things in written in Shastra. But what Popa but what Popa speaking is the divine law. Divine law in the way of our devotional act, devotional field. Divine law. Like law book, you cannot cut one point. I don't like, you can cut it. No, not possible. If you touch any line of any law book in front of public or in court, eh, you will be prosecuted. Big problem. So, you cannot, you cannot express dishonor national anthem you cannot dishonor eh, national assembly you cannot do it, it, it public eh, police can arrest you so the only way i say the only way no other way the day you can realize all the bicha siddhanta bicha of the prabhupada then 100 percent i can put guarantee you need not pay attention to anyone. Those who are speaking about Prabhupada and same thing, okay, you can hear. Otherwise, no pay, no need of paying any attention. It is a wastage of time. Now, today is the Tirovap Titi. Today is the disappearance Titi of the great exalted devotee, Gauriya devotee, written in golden type. Who is a jewel of Sharasat Gauriyo Sampradaya. His name is Bhakti Hidaya Banadev Goswami Maharaj. Let people speak all rubbish against him. What is concerned to us? Let people speak all rubbish. What is concerned to us? Why you are going to pay attention? Because Kongso is going to speak all rubbish to Krishna. Krishna is rascal, Susubal speaking, rascal, idiot. Oh, so then? Shishubal speaking, no? Krishna is, you know, there is no surety of birth. Is a no surety of speaking. He is crazy, mad. Krishna, Martam, material, Krishna. Eh? Indra speaking, all rubbish. So let them speak. Let them speak. Kamsa speaking all rubbish to Krishna. Shishupal speaking all rubbish to Krishna. Jarasandha speaking all rubbish to Krishna. So that means, okay, everybody is speaking. So Krishna must be a one dirty. Hey, Krishna is not Bhagavan. Is it so? Not that, no. Nah. <laughs> then let people speak. Hmm, they are crazy, they have gone mad, they don't know what they are speaking. <laughs> so, it is a great jewel of Gauriya Sampradaya. He came from Dhaka. One place, Dhaka, is a, is a kingdom, of, kingdom of Bangladesh. At present, East Bengal. It's called Dhaka. He was the tenth, number tenth boy of father. He was the number tenth boy of father. And he was the eyeball of father. Follow. And he was a jewel piece from the very beginning. In school and colleges, he was very dear. In school and colleges, he was very dear to all school 
teachers and professors, all friends. He was very, very intelligent. Super intelligent. Father used to love him very much. He was an English medium school student. After completing school, he took admission in college. He had also excellent result, everything done. But inside heart, satisfaction not coming. Satisfaction not coming. Because he is searching something. Who is, he is searching something absolute. But he is not getting. So naturally he is searching where I can get that absolute thing. In the meantime, father was admitted to hospital. Big danger, father, going to die. He is under treatment of doctor in hospital. Some medicine not available there in Dhaka. Calcutta was more important than Dhaka. Because Calcutta was a British colonial rule was there, that time, British. So naturally, Calcutta was very important. 300 years back, Calcutta was village. 300 years back, 250 years back, Calcutta was village, almost. Follow? You don't know. So this way, some medicine was not available there in Dhaka. So, he took decision to go to Calcutta to buy medicine there, to buy medicine there. And there was one very, you know, important thing. There was a, what is that? In the meantime, he could get in contact with Dhaka Madhya Gauriyamant. He was searching inside, what to do, what to do. I am not getting satisfied, as if something missing. But in the meantime, by chance, he get in contact with Madhya Gauriya Sampada at that time. Madhya Gauriya, Madhya, Madhya Gauriya Mat, Dhaka, it was newly met. Then from there he got information about Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagapapa. <coughs> so on the pretext of collecting medicine, he took permission from doctor and come to Calcutta. He collect medicine. And he arranged somebody and give the medicine. You go to my father in hospital, give the medicine, I am not going to come again. <laughs> give the medicine. Because he was feeling detachment. It is, it is quite natural that we can, it is quite natural, we can feel attraction for father, mother, wife. Eh? But he was not feeling. He was, father, mother, brother, he is not feeling. Why he cannot, he don't understand. In the meantime, he could get clue how to reach Prabhupada. So this way, immediately, he leave Dhaka and arrange medicine and arrange one man, give some fare, he go to Dhaka and give this medicine to my father. And he was not ready to go back to Father, I mean Dhaka. He directly went to Bhagavad Gauriya mission. That time Gauriya not all one. The division was done after. So he directly went to Calcutta Gauriya mission to meet with Prabhupada. And by chance Prabhupada was there. He took permission for one devotee, Shevak. I like to take darshan of that great, you know, Acharya. Well, Prabhupada was informed that one young man, very nice looking, very smart, educated, he like to meet you. We can send after? Oh, no, now you send. Prabhupada, it depends upon the IQ. Prabhupada could realize. If somebody useless, okay, after, I can meet. But if very, like Goswami Maharaj, if somebody asking eh, to Prabhupada, some uh, uh, Atul Krishna Goswami, he like to meet you, coming here, very tall figure, nice man, educated. He is very much interested. 
Prabhupada said, now you will send him. You can understand, na? Heart of Guru Vaishnava is so clear. If you look at your eyes, na, you can realize what is your position. You need not speak. Maybe you can try to hide something. But Guru Vaishnava can realize everything. They are not speaking anything. Eh? They are exhibiting some foolish lila. Oh, I don't know. I am foolish. But they realize everything. So, when this boy, I mean Narendra, Narendra Bandhupadhyay, his previous name was Narendra Bandhupadhyay. When he meet with Prabhupada, after watching the lotus feet of Prabhupada, he got mad. And also Prabhupada started speaking some important point. After hearing, he gone mad. He took decision to stay some days more. He took this five, seven days, okay, no problem. He was permitted. Prabhupada gave, no, you can stay here. Hearing Harikatha. After hearing, he gone mad. He is crying in front of Prabhupada, you give me, you give me shelter unto me. You give me shelter unto me. But I told you, Bhakti Mithaku lamenting, a prakito lamenting. Bhakti Mithaku was speaking, although there is some rules and regulation laid down in, in Hari Bhakti Vilas. Bhakti Mithaku was speaking, although there is some rules and regulation laid down in Hari Bhakti Vilas regarding whom to make disciple, who can make disciple, I mean who can act as Acharya. Mutual testing all there, all there written. Bhakti Mantra was speaking, though it is written by Sanatan Gosavi, but in practical ground we can think nothing. We can feel nothing. That is now, that is why so contamination. Garbage, all over there. Garbage, all garbage. It's not, it's not devotional progress, it's garbage. Those who have eyes, spiritual eyes, no, they don't see. It's not spiritual progress, it's only garbage. It's only garbage. There is one place in Calcutta, near Calcutta, greater Calcutta. You can find one place, big place, for kilometers. All the garbage of Calcutta, they are going to throw there. It's called Dhapa, Dhapa. The name of the, I used to go in guard to that place because very uh, very clean very quickly you can go reach <laughs> if you go very bad smell all the garbage all as there like himalaya now we are going to make some garbage never mind i am speaking absolute truth if you mind i have nothing to do only we are increasing garbage in the name of preaching. It's not preaching. So, actually, Prabhupada wanted to test him. Because it was the nature of Prabhupada. If somebody coming, after watching, after watching at eyes, Prabhupada could realize. So clever. Even after looking at eyes, Prabhupada could realize. What is this? The Papa told, okay, I can think about it. You, you, could you write one article? Could you write one article on the basis of Harikatha? On the basis of Harikatha, you are hearing, na? For those days, for those days you are hearing Harikatha. So what you realize, could you please write in the form of an article? Then, uh, eh, he, he is speaking, yes, I can write. Narendra Bandhubadhyay. He said, I can write. Follow. He is writing one article, Bengali. Actually, he, Prabhupada told to write in. He can know English everything, but Prabhupada told to write in English. So, mother, lang mother, mother tongue, mother language. So, he wrote, who is my relative? Ati okay. Who is my who is my near and dear one in two sense? 
who is my near and dear one in two sense. He wrote one article. Ati okay. After writing, with fear, going in front of Prabhupada. Somehow, I, Prabhupada, I write. Can you, could you please check up? Take. Okay, you put. He gone outside. After reading the article, Prabhupada was so satisfied, so happy, that you cannot imagine. Prabhupada could realize some treasure is there inside his heart. Baba took decision to keep, to give Harinam Diksha. Baba took decision to give Harinam Diksha to He is a genius. Because eternal person, no? I can realize. After taking Diksha and Harinam, Harinam and Diksha, his name was Nanda Sunu Brahmachari. Nanda Sunu Brahmachari. His name was Nanda Sunu Brahmachari. Very nice. Very nice looking, smart, can speak. Hmm? Very nice orator seal. Very nice water seal. Very quickly he started learning all because they are eternal person. Hearing Harikata from Popa, everything they can realize. Realize everything. Very shortly, within very short period of time, he was a very important disciple of Srila Prabhupada. Very important disciple of Srila So, now Prabhupada wanted to send him to different places for preaching. I am not speaking about foreign preaching. I am speaking about preaching inside India. So, he, Prabhupada wanted to send him in different places. If I go on speaking, it will be one epic Mahavarat. <laughs> so I can cut short. From Madras, from Madras to Kabur, from Bombay to Delhi, where not? Mathura, Kanpur, where not? Lucknow, were not everywhere he was sent, successful. By the power of his Guru Kipa, he was successful to make different temples all over the world. Of course, some other God brothers were also there, like Madhu Goswami Maharaj, our Siddhar Goswami, also there, but he was very important personality. So in Madras Gauri Mart, his contribution. His Kabur Gauri Mart, his contribution. His contribution. All his contribution. Different. Gaya. Hana, follow. Different, different places. He was very successful to make different. Mats and Mandir, different. And his writing power, speak, speaking power is so fine that ultimately Prabhupada took decision to send him to foreign country for fishing. Very smart, no? Very smart speaking power. Somebody going to misinform you. All papers I can show you. Somebody going to misinform you, misguide you, going to speak all lies against our Guru Bhagavan, like Gosai Maharaj. Yeah, Gosai Maharaj, Madhu Gosai Maharaj, yeah, Bhakti Padip Titta Gosai Maharaj, you know, this, you know, Bhan Gosai Maharaj, yeah, jewel, jewel. But, they are speaking lie in the name of those great devotees. Unnecessarily, they are going to take trouble to go to hell by criticizing Guru Vaishnava. I can give not one example. I cannot give only one example. I can show you, you open, go to your I can find. I can go you, give you countless examples where Prabhupada is going to specifically show us about the importance of those 
Acharyas, like Goswami Maharaj, Banu Goswami Maharaj, Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Jealousy is the topmost enemy in your life. Jealousy is the topmost enemy. If you have no power, nothing, still. Jealousy is the topmost enemy. Srila Bhano Goswami Maharaj, after Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami Maharaj gone, blasted into tears in Harikatha, in the birthplace of Prabhupada. Follow. Speaking about Abhirbhav, this Abhirbhav place of Prabhupada. That time it was the first assembly of disappearance day of Prabhupada, a appearance day of Prabhupada. First new temple going on, making. That time, Srila Bhakti Hidha Bhanadu Goswami was speaking in Harikatha. Also in the disappearance day of Madhu I mean the festival of disappearance day, he bursted into tears. He was bound to say, My God brother Bhakti Yudha Madhu Goswami Maharaj, my God brother Bhakti Yudha Madhu Goswami Maharaj, he was the number one follower of Prabhupada. You see, he is speaking loudly. Madhu Goswami Maharaj used to follow Prabhupada in total, in total, accurately. Bhakti Bhanadagos, Bhakti the Bhanadagos are speaking, even we cannot deserve, even we cannot deserve that we are following Prabhupada accurately. But Madhagosim Maharaj, though Bhanagosim are following Prabhupada accurately, but still out of humbleness speaking, maybe we are not following accurately. But the accuracy of Guru Anugatva, but the accuracy of Anugatva of Madhugusi Maharaj is unparalleled, unbeaten. Oh, very nice. Impossible. So, Popat giving order to Kunjoda, Kunja Biharita, in charge of manager of Chaitanya Maharaj. Kunjoda, you can get one nice shoot, boot for Ban Maharaj. He was given in the meantime. In the year of 1930, he was given sannyas. Countless exhibition, countless exhibition, public exhibition eh, was arranged by Prabhupada. to teach people about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's, you know, Siddhanta Vichar. Many times in Mathura, in Delhi, in Haura, different places, exhibition. It was the because Dhaka, because on those days there was no mobile, no TV, nothing. Now, if you pit, put one LED in front of the road and play Harikatha, I don't know, nobody can do. But if you do, people, who are, those who are interested, they can say, I'm not speaking. But don't these days, the great, great sadhus, no, nothing, no idea. Only some written documents we have, that is our property. So, Prabhupada giving order, to arrange one boat. And after that, uh, uh, Banu Goswami Maharaj was asked by Prabhupada through somebody. You asked Banu Maharaj to come in front of me with sh short, you know, with uh, coat and sh tie and boot, everything. Uh, Banu Maharaj not coming, they are very feeling shy. Then Prabhupada gave me, you, you ask him, I am a calling with suit and boot, everything tie. Then finally, Ban Goswami Maharaj was bound to come in front of Prabhupada. Then Prabhupada looking at him and laughing. Now, come on. Today, you are going to renounce your renouncement. Today, you are going to renounce even your renouncement. Follow. You are going to renounce your renouncement. It's called Yukta Vairagya. Come on. 
This is called Yukta Vairagya. Follow. You have to go in front of that civilized society, European society. So you will have to take this kind of a follow. If I get the privilege to speak in English in front of all you know, foreign people, why should I take trouble to take only one cope in? That I can wear in, inside my room, not in front of you. Why? I can come like king. Because this is the nature of Prabhupada. It is the nature of Chukso Bhairagya. Bhairagya I am not going to expose him. Bhairagya can be there inside your heart. It is not a matter of exhibition. Ah, oh, as I have so much Bhairagya. Bhairagya can be there. Bhairagya means special attachment for Bhagavan. It's naturally there. It's called all proper adjustment. Yukto Bhairagya. You can remember many times I used to speak two sloka from Rashamitu Sindhu. Eh? ड्राइवर that we cannot, you can go to hell. Follow. It was the nature of Prabhupada. When first time in Gauri, you can go mad. When for the, for the first time, somebody wanted to give one car. First time. Uh, old, old pattern car. It's open, like, you know. Then, some devotee were, so-called devotee wanted to, you know, ride car. Prabhupada was very, very angry. Prabhupada could understand the mood of that devotee. Prabhupada speaking, why did material flesh and blood can take the trouble to ride that car? We don't understand. Only our spiritual body can ride the car. Those who are having the conception of blood and place this fresh body, they have no right to ride that car. It's one kind of enjoyment, sense, sense enjoyer. So you cannot understand the heart of Prabhupada. How far we are from Prabhupada, day by day I can discuss. How far we are away. How far we are away from the Prabhupada, day by day I can try to explain you. Day by day I can try to explain you, you can understand, oh really so. How far we are away, we are totally deviated from Prabhupada. But we think, we are doing Seva Prabhupada, ah, we are doing Jaya Prabhupada. Rascal, doing Seva. Oh. Prabhupada Seva. Not so easy. Not so easy. Follow? Not so easy. If you have no idea about the heart of Prabhupada, how you can serve? If you have no idea about the heart of Prabhupada, you have no you know, common sense, nothing, how you can serve? You have only jealousy inside heart. So, Banu Maharaj was a successful preacher. According to the declaration of Prabhupada, the Prabhupada. Prabhupada told, I am going in front of Ravindranath Thakur, I am going to send such, I am going to send such messenger as good as me. So, Banu if I if I show you the preaching procedure of Banu Goswami, you can go mad. You cannot understand how possible. Follow. This kind of invitation, no father, no grandfather. Those who are criticizing, for them it is my message that your father, 
grand grandfather, grand grand grandfather, they never got this kind of chance. And you are going to criticize him. You are going to criticize him. A prakita urine and stool of Banagoshi Maharaj, I can never become. One insect, one insect available in the stool and urine of Banagoshi Maharaj, I think I can, I can never become. So how I can criticize him? On those days, British people was the topmost all over the world. You know, American recently, British people from very beginning. Very beginning when anciently India is the original source of all civilization, all civilization, all originally everything from India. All science, technology, mathematics, philosophy, whatever you say, I can 100% show you. You come to me, I can show you. You can search the previous, you know, 2000 years, uh, 1000, 2000 years history, I can show you all the facts. But British people are very intelligent in the sense they are very clever. They can get control over so many countries. In Bonn, in Bonn, British people, they are politicians. It is written by one big philosopher. Those, those British people, they are in Bonn, they are politicians. And Indian people, they are originally, I am not speaking about mixed, hybrid, I am not speaking. Originally, those Indian people, they are original, they are philosopher. Originally, by birth. I am not speaking a hybrid. I am speaking of originally. By birth, they are philosopher. Follow. So, Rabindranath Thakur told it is not possible for you to send any message. What you can do? Nobody can to hear. Rabindranath Thakur told. He was the Nobel laureate. He came back and a uh, first meeting with Rabindranath Tagore. Many times before they meet each other, Bhakti Mahatma Tagore, Rabindranath Tagore, and uh, the brother, elder brother Rabindranath Tagore, they are very close. Prabhupada asking, what is the result you think? What is the result you think? What is the result you think we can get if you send one man? Nobody, no. All useless people, when they are in foreign country, for preaching, philosophy, Vedic culture, they are all rubbish. Their character, though all they are going to make the field very dirty. They are not going to believe anybody. Then Popa started speaking Harikatha for hours. After that, Rabindranath Tagore told, Well, a man like you, a great Acharya like you, can go anytime, any moment, anywhere, irrespective of time, space, and any time. You can come out successful. Then Prabhupada told, Be sure I am going to send such a messenger as good as me, as you are thinking. Now one question. It is more easy to preach in... Uh, it is more easy to preach in, in England or Germany. What, eh? what is a... To preach in Germany easy or to preach in England easy? Then Rabindranath Tagore told, British people anyway, German people somehow if you speak in German, they can try to explain. But British people not at all. Then Banga Maharaj, Banga Maharaj told to Prabhupada, because discussion was there, so it is more tough to preach in England than, than to preach in Germany. Then Banu Gosimar told, suggested for Popat, I think, uh, I think it is more practical to, to go to England first. Because if we are successful there, because top men, those are intelligent, they are going to face the first eventuality. It's more tough to preach in England, so, so we can go to England first. <laughs> Banu Gosimar told, Popat, well, very right, very good. Then Banu Goswami are going to England. After going to England, after going to England, he meet with some important personalities. After that, what happened? He got invitation in Oxford University, the topmost place. Hello. 
But Oxford allow him only 15 minutes. 15 only. All educated, erudite scholar sitting, or big, big professor. 15 minutes only. So within 15 minutes, Bangasi Ma started speaking in such a way, they become very much impressed. They say, well, within 15 minutes, he is going to put one impression inside our heart. So he was invited to speak in front of royal family of England. Royal family. The royal family in front of Elizabeth, I mean King, Queen. Uh, oh! Very nice Harikatha. After hearing from Cambridge University, from different universities, all around. They started inviting you, come, you come. And is speaking power i mean bhakti devotion is there no? speaking power only speaking power is useless if guru kipa is there if you can feel that guru speaking who am i to speak then you can speak harikatha so banagasema started speaking harikatha countless harikatha in different places different universities this was the this was the this was the this was the very important technique adopted by Bangosema. Bangosema took decision. I cannot uh, speak in in, in a, a roadside. I cannot I can speak in all inferi inferi important universities because there the new generation did school college college men or young batch. If they are going to adapt, adopt this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Siddhanta Bhisha, then I can come out successful. All educated society can accept. This was the formula of Prabhupada. Prabhupada never wanted to preach in low level fast. Prabhupada, it was the technique of Prabhupada. Because it is not the technique of Prabhupada, I would say, it is the technique of Krishna. It is the technique... You can say, where, where from you find the technique of Krishna? I can show you. Bring, you bring Gita, I can show you. You can bring Gita, I can show you. Jat acharati sestut evet taro janaha shayat pramanu kurute This sloka you find, I can show you. Krishna also speaking this. Is the technique of Krishna. Krishna speaking. If all erudite, erudite, erudite scholars a big, big personality in our society going to accept it, common men automatically accept it. Krishna speaking. In Gita, you can find this sloka. I, I, when I go away, you can open Gita and find this sloka. Jajjad atarati sesto evet taro yanaha sayat pramana kurte lokahas stadanu vartate. Bhagavan speaking. So is the technique shown by Krishna. Prabhupada also going to invite one viceroy of you know, India or you know uh, big big thing. British people, Lord Karjana, big big thing. They have Shuka. But useless. Why? Not to give them honor, but to inject Harikatha inside their toxic heart, brain. Follow. That is a technique of Prabhupada. So, it was a technique of Gurudev. So, what wrong in it? So, Banugasimha took decision to preach in his college level. Big, big important colleges started. Successful. After that, he took decision to go to German. But, before going German, some friend advised him, my friend, if you go there, German people, they have some allergy, allergy. They cannot hear English, they have some fighting with them. So, better if you can speak in, uh, in your mother tongue, if you can speak in Sanskrit, Bengali, Hindi, and some translator can be there, it's okay. That's not a big, but if you try to speak English, they can be, they are less interested, they can, they cannot hear. Then, Banu said, okay, I can learn German. I can learn German. He went to German and started learning German. Within six months, 
he learned German in such a way. After learning German language in six months, he wrote so many books in German. He wrote so many books in German language. Can you do it? Is possible for you? How possible? Is the power of Prabhupada. He wrote so many books in German language. Follow. And in course of his preaching, all different, I cannot remember, so many very important colleges there. Very important colleges in German, universities. Maximum university students, Bangasima used to speak in Toronto. College is less. College no. Universities. Follow. In big, big universities, he started speaking. And Sadananda Swami, he was in search of that absolute truth. Eternal person, but still externally exhibiting this kind of Leela. After hearing Harikatha, he started inquiry about Prabhupada. They were very much interested to see Prabhupada. Or so many foreign devotees. Follow. After that, preaching was 100% successful. 100%. By that time, all over the world, people, people started people started thinking about the absolute teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But by the by, I should speak the absolute truth that Sira Sachi. That Sira Sachi the Bhakti Thakur is the is the first person, he was the only personality who started speaking English, English, Hindi, Uriya. Spanish, Bengali, Sanskrit, Harikatha, Chaitanya Bhav. He was the first person. Srila Sachidananda Bhakti Tagore was the first person to speak the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in front of foreign people in different languages. If I don't speak, then, I, then it's very bad. I should speak it. But after that, Managusim Maharaj, Pohupad, Managusim Maharaj, Gusai Maharaj, wow. All over German. Because just German people, they are very much interested about Ramayana, Mahabharat, Bhagavad, they are very Max Muller, you know. He did research on Ved, Vedanta, Veda, so many things. Rig Veda. Max Muller. I know Max Muller Bhavan. I used to go. So it's very so after that he went to he was invited in different places in America, New York, Arizona, Washington University, different universities. Massive preaching started. After that, Vienna, in Vienna, Austria, follow. Everywhere he was invited. Massive preaching. So massive preaching. I am not speaking story. I can give you the book, my lectures in German and England. My, my lectures in England and Germany. Follow. So, he wrote so many things, but foolish people, those are full of jealousy. They are actually foolish. Those are jealous, you know? they are foolish people. Because they, anyway they are going to be cheated by Maya. They are cheated by Maya. He was the first person in the whole world to endeavor eh, writing Rasamrita Sindhu in English, which is impossible. Translation of Rasamrita Sindhu is next to impossible. Because there is no language. No? If you try to translate in German, English, any language is not there. Whole English dictionary, German, you cannot find this. This word is not there. So how you can translate? Impo word must be there, no? But in word, no. Like I can give one example. Those are English people, they can say philosophy. But I can say darshan. I can say darshan, no? You can say philosophy. You think that it is a translation of darshan. That is your fault. 
you think that darshan is a Bengali or Sanskrit, and if we can translate it in English, it will be a place of philosophy. Is it, isn't that? Yes or not? Up to this point you can think. You can think it surely because the translation of darshan is philosophy, but it is not that. Philosophy means more accurate thinking. Darshan means more and more accurate approach. Philosophy means its material conception. I can make some uh, concoctive idea also philosophy, something imaginary. But when I speak darshan, Bharatiya darshan, Indian darshan, Vedic darshan, then it doesn't mean that it is philosophy. Because it is more practical. Oh, don't understand what I mean to say. Vedic darshan is practical as it is. What is what? Aprakita darshan. But philosophy? Oh, maybe some, like Shakespeare writing. Shakespeare writing, no? Kids, and you know, Thompson, P.B. Sally, they are writing so many things, huh? <laughs> they are writing. <laughs> but not that. Wilson, 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 when a big writer, big, big writer. I also read in my student life. But their darshan is not practical darshan. They can speak philosophy. But ours is darshan. Darshan means practical. Now what I am seeing, watching these, that, everything, it is called material darshan. It is not. When I can get Guru, Guru Kipa day by day and develop that kind of perfect darshan, 100 at 360 degree change. My darshan can increase according to the proportionate of my inclination unto Lotus Meter Gurudev. Now your darshan is you know, degree, according to degree, 10%, 20%, 30%, you know, after that 90%, 90, 90, 80, vertical, this 90, 90. If two straight lines intersect each other per 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 perpendicular, this. So this angle is 90, this angle 90. This angle 90, this angle 90. So when your clock of darshan, when your darshan clock is totally changing and going to turn 360 degree over, then your darshan is a practical darshan. No material impediments can stand. Follow what I mean to say. It's called a practical darshan. So one example I think is more than sufficient. So how it was possible for Banagoshi Maharaj to translate Rasamrita to Sindhu? How possible? I don't know. One Rasamrita to Sindhu word if I read, I, how to translate? How deep meaning? No English word can help you to express the meaning, real meaning. Somehow they are doing. After that, Banagoshi Maharaj was successful. After Prabhupada gone, in the year of 1936, December 31st to December, night time, or I would say 1937, 1st to January, I can say, according to the English calendar. Prabhupada left body. After that, so many things happened. Banagoshi Maharaj, Again started preaching, massive preaching. Nobody going to speak the truth. If I like to suppress the truth, if I like to hide the truth, then I, will, I, will, I can get punishment. I should not do it. It is merciless decision. It is merciless decision to hide the qualities of Vaishnavas. It is merciless decision. You are demon. You are number one demon. So you like to hide all the qualities of Vaishnava. Ah, it's not good. It's very sensitive issue. Very bad. If I find some quality in you, I cannot speak. I cannot admire. I speak in front of you. You speak. Not in front of you. I speak. It's quite natural. Vaishnava is going to be fine. Find some 
Okay, he's doing nice. But if out of jealousy you say, no, I cannot speak about it, I am the only. That means Popa speaking is a branded Avashna. Appa Popa gone, up to 1960, massive preaching, Banagasi Maharaj done, all over the world. How many times Banagasi Maharaj went to German, England, Australia, uh, Austria, America, Japan, Japan also. After that, he took decision to go into deep bhajan. Money? He wanted to leave everything. You are not giving me time. I excuse for that. I beg for excuse. Beg for pardon. You are not giving me time to discuss. Sufficient. But what to do? I have to jump. Finally, Bangasima took decision to go deep into bhajan. In the meantime, I should say, Srila Bhanagasimha one day very secretly wanted to approach Prabhupada and asking that I am feeling some sensation from my heart about the seva of Gopikas. Prabhupada told, very good. Prabhupada never told you a cheater. Prabhupada told, well, I can guide you. Then Popa started guiding him. You can go through this book. Those books you can go through. After that you can come to me. And Popa gave him responsibility to arrange all the kunja or kunja, you know, kunja around Radha Kun. Around Radha Kun and Sam Kun. How many kunja there you cannot count? All Sakhi, Lalita, Vishaka, Chandra, all kunjas. Chandravati kunja is not there, different place. All those who are falling, Radharani. All kunjas there. So, Banugasri Maharaj was giving the responsibility by Prabhupada. If, can you arrange? Can you decorate or demonstration? One exhibition? Baba say, if you bless me, I can arrange. If you bless me, I can arrange. Oh my God! Exactly calculation. This angle. Here, Lalita Saki Gunji, Sananda Sukhata Gunji. This angle, there is Vishakha Saki Gunji, all arranged by? By watching, by visiting that exhibition. By visiting that exhibition, Prabhupada was so happy, so happy. So happy that I cannot speak you. That's been our Guru Varga, all genius. You can admit, you cannot admit that up to you. I already started. Shishupal, Shishupal can speak all rubbish against Krishna. Kongso can speak all, speak all rubbish against Krishna. Jarasandha can speak all rubbish against Krishna. So what? So what? Why you are going to? Become man. I let them speak. Follow. One day, one day, I, I got one experience in Vindavan. Follow. What is that? That example is very good. Maybe it will take some time, I can speak. You can learn something. One rich man, Shet, Shet, very rich man, is going to distribute Kambal among devotees. Devotees of Sant Sadhus. Follow. He is indicating, I was doing Parikrama, he is indicating, Baba, come, come, come. I can give Kambal. I said, no, I cannot take. I go away. But he is distributing Kambal. Then there was one queue, started queue. One Sadhu, he already took one Kambal. When he is going to change his dress, again going to stand in queue. <laughs> stand in queue. To get another kambal. He is very clever. He is no sadhu. Then, the, when the sadhu coming, the said to get, hey, he already took kambal. He said, no, I didn't take. No, you took kambal. I can, hey, don't give kambal to him. I already gave one kambal to him. But he is going to fight with, said, I never took. He said, I know you took. 
I know you two half an hour before. I am not going to give you. Then that, then that so-called sadhu going to sit at the bank of Jamuna and speaking all slag language to, to that. Slag language. Going to speak all slag language to that rich man. You rascal, you idiot, this, that's so much thing. One sadhu, one sadhu speaking to Sadji. Sadji, is he speaking all rubbish to you? Huh? He is speaking, that sadhu speaking, huh, wanted to draw, wanted to draw the attention of that rich man. Is that sadhu is speaking all rubbish to you. Huh? He is speaking all rubbish to you. Then, the, then that set, rich man speaking, well, whatever I have, I have kambal, I am giving. He has slag language, he is giving slag language. Whatever property he has inside his heart, he is giving. <laughs> Follow. He, he has his property, it is also property for him. <laughs> to speak all slag language. So, I, have, I, am, I, I am also laughing, really. Yeah, those who are speaking all rubbish against Bhanga Simrad, because I am speaking is foolish. He has some dirty thing inside heart. He is speaking this. So, Bhanga Simrad has some bhakti. He can give bhakti to us. Let him speak. Eh? I am not going to be here. If somebody is going to insult my Guru Varga, I can give my life. He don't know. It's called bhakti. I cannot be here. If somebody, if somebody is speaking all rubbish to me, I can be here. I cannot speak anything. <laughs> but Guru Varga is saying, I can catch your throat. Eh? Idiot. <laughs> no. So, Bhanga Se Maharaj, up to 1916, after that also massive preaching in India also. After that, they took decision to do exclusive bhajan. Many disciples from, from, from different countries, many disciples, they used to approach Bhanga Sema secretly. If they go openly, then they, their society can speak all rubbish. Uh, secretly they are going to know something about bhajan, secretly. And they are passing remark. We couldn't imagine even dream. I can show you a letter. The passing remark. Even in dream, we couldn't realize such a great genius sadhu is there in our Gauriya society. But our Guru Dev and, Guru, and nobody spoke to us. So by chance I get the chance. By chance I get this address and meet Ban Muslim Maharaj. Such a realized, such a realized soul who is speaking all. Oh, close his eyes and go on speaking. Even in dream I couldn't realize such a great jewel is there in our society. Our Gurudev never told. There is a condition. I have no time to speak about Banagashem Maharaj more and more. If I go on speaking hours, I cannot feel tired because I feel happy. I can next study Katha, Abhir Bhaktiti or sometime I can show you how many times Prabhupada told and give certificate? Many times Prabhupada declared about the glories of Banagasya Maharaj and all our Guru Bhagavad wanted to give service. Those who are going to do this kind of seva, those who are going to do, do Prabhupada speaking, those who, are those who are going to do this kind of exclusive seva of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. They must give honor. They must give, they must get honor and love from Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I think, I think it is my conception, it is my desire, the whole world should treat them that way. Do you like to see? Do you like to see the letter? Vishwabhishnabrasava, our Gaur Ashirvat. Gaur, next day of Gaur, Gaur Abhir Bhaktiti, there is one assembly there in Jokubit. I think whole world should treat, give them same honor, but nobody giving. How I can bear if some Acharya is going to speak that the Banu Goswami Maharaj, born, born, that born group, rascal, speaking rascal, born Maharaj rascal, Madhav Goswami rascal, Speaking, the speaking Oriental philosophy, uh, you know, uh, school of 
and you know that orientals this year going to pass remember who is going to pass urine there this is a language so i remember that incident from vindavan he has dirty thing he has dirty thing inside heart if you have dirty thing you can give dirty thing if you have dirty thing inside you can give all the rubbish slag language to me if i have a nice thing i can speak nice thing to you whatever you have property that you can give you bhakti is the property of bandhu sima you have the dirty things you can give dirty things so what to wrong no no problem in it so one go same much left his body i can touch last line some day i can discuss banga simaj left body very strange way he took decision to go into solitary bhajan for those last days nobody can see banga simaj nobody can see follow bhajan kutir i went there underground but before going to underground some devotees wanted to visit maharaj and some devotees i mean disciple but some disciple touch him he was supposed to leave body that day when that devotee touch him mangas was speaking now i cannot go he already touch me he was i was supposed to go away after that another nice date night particular star position when i said today i can go away don't look at me don't do by outside you do kirtan krishna can go this way the krishna can go this way and take me some day i can discuss i have no time but today i can also touch about bhakti bhakti is bhakti bhakti sar maharaj bhakti sar go sai maharaj is also great devotee his spiritual name given by prabhupada was noni gopal brahmachari noni gopal brahmachari nando dula previous home previous home he was from uh, bangladesh khulna he was from khulna he was from khulna original india that time india was there khulna and his father mother all great devotee nandadulal as a brahman boy very nice i can speak a few line a few line he took decision to to learn engineering in revensa college in katak orissa orissa katak he was doing engineering education by the meantime he meet one one great devotee of popat a baba ji maharaj one one baba ji maharaj he meet with baba ji maharaj who was in charge of that modern katak so he came to know about popat i am going to cut short some day i can give, speak in details then he wanted to take shelter of popat then father and mother they also told we can go to we can go to mayapur to meet with popat they also they all together came popat after talking with them i mean after hearing so much hari katha popat was ready to give them hari naam and diksha them i mean father mother and the son all together can you realize how clever popat is popat every time giving diksha to father mother and the son follow noni gopal his name was and father when going to leave father when going to leave his son in the seva prabhupad going away with tears with tears rolling down his cheeks speaking my son you have the golden opportunity to serve as the exalted devotee of bhagwan personal associate we are not so lucky be careful about seva we don't want your seva we want you do seva of that great devotee 
Prabhupada, with re tears rolling down his cheeks, leaving, leaving the sun, going away, looking at sun, shedding tears and bless the great father. This is called father. This is called mother. From then onward, he was there, very educated man, and he took the responsibility of teaching in Bhaktivinoda Institute. Prabhupada give this seva. At the same time, editor, editing seva, editorial tip. This way, he was successful to satisfy Prabhupada. He was so niskinchan. He was so niskinchan that and so merciful. Even he was less interested to kill even one ant. You know, ant, mosquito. He, he got one land in donation. He got one piece of land in donation. Donation by his godmother. Bhaktalok Paramahansa, next, next temple. He gave that. He can, he can make temple. But the temple was acquired by some Bangladeshi refugee. Acquired. Then he told in front of Krishna Gesha Prabhu, well, I cannot fight, let them stay. How I can make them? I, will, I cannot fight with them. You go away from there, where they can go. So, when our Bharati Maharaj came to know about this situation, that my Gurudev, my Guru Bharga, Shar Maharaj cannot get control over his own you know, land, then Krishna Gesha Prabhu went there. Hey, back in the land. Back in the land. Then our Bharati Maharaj is coming and taking one big stick, bamboo. And you can play, you can leave this place or not. Or I will have to take a strong step. Leave this place. Then he was there. By looking at Bharati Maharaj, they are bound to, they think a big, good, big, big powerful man bound to live. For Guru Varga Seva, if I need to take this can, you see, these are the teachings. For Guru Varga Seva, to protect the honor of Guru Varga, if I need to become harsh and speak, I am ready to speak. Because the Prabhupada told. Finally, that place was, just, was recovered and he made, I am going to cut short. But, in the meantime, after Prabhupada gone, he was under the guidance of Gosai Maharaj. After Prabhupada gone, he was under the guidance of Gosai Maharaj. Gosai Maharaj used to love him, give him all bani sheva, everything. But after Gosai Maharaj gone, as per the desire of Gosai Maharaj, he was made, he was elected, he was made the next Acharya of that Gauriya Vaishnava Sangha. But finally, due to some internal problem, due to some internal problem, Maharaj could realize this post of Acharya is not so important for me. Whatever Vaishnavas like to engage me, that's what I can do. Goswami Maharaj wanted to engage me, but some problem arising. So, okay, I leave this post. But I am not going to leave this temple. I can help you. I am not going to leave Seva. I can say, but okay, you take. He resigned. From that Acharya Sip, he made one temple, Sarabhuj Mat, just opposite Gopinath Gauriya Mat, there was Sarabhuj Gauranga. Now, all condition is very bad. Nobody there to guide. Nobody there. Who can guide? All temple you can saw, they eating, sleeping, fighting, politics. Gauriya Vaishnav, Guru Vaishnav, they are the living mat. What do you mean by mat? You have a money power, you can make mat. Temple. Guru Vaishnavas, they are the living Gauriya mat. I can discuss about this next day. Today time cannot permit. I am not going to do because I have also so many seva. So you see, eh? Guru Sushosanam Namo Sarva Dharma Tamaktamam Tashmat Dharmat Paru Dharma Pavitram dharma navidvati vancha kalpadaru sikhi basindh bhavishya patitanam pavana bhavishna bhyo namo. Today is a Thiruvaptiti of Panagusri Maharaj. Also, the Thiruvaptiti of so many things to discuss, but time cannot permit. You know, 
and also you are also not interested.